Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schroep, physical therapist. Brad Hynek, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about prevent deep vein thrombosis, blood clot in calf muscles, and you can also improve pre and post ankle surgery results. And we, I can, we can even take it further, Brad. This is going to help some athletes. Right. Yeah. This is their for performance. Right. After a real aggressive performance, you can use this to help recover the muscles. And it's all below the knee, in the calf right. muscles. And you, people think maybe that I'm so excited I'm tapping my foot. No, this is doing it by itself. Right. And yeah. we'll show you in just a minute why that works. But, it's a really neat uh, device. Yeah. By the way, if you oh. are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go over to the Facebook and like us. Um, next week, we again are giving away something, uh, starting on Monday, actually. Oh, yes. Um, yeah. Uh, we're going to be giving away five TENS units. And those are great for uh, controlling your pain or giving you some relief to your pain. Without using opioids. Without and using those. drugs. Right. And so it's really exciting. We're... I, I, there's so many things that excite me, Brad, now. So, well, you're an excitable, well, you were excitable, excitable when you were young, too. Yeah, that's you? right. <laughs> All right, so what do we got here, Brad? Okay, we, we got the, uh, the Geico circulation device. We're not sure if it's, I think it's Geico. Geico. I don't know, it's yeah. G-E-K-O. Right, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, they've put a lot of research into these devices, and it's really uh, something I think that is going to come along well, we just got an announcement. Maybe they need one of these. That's okay. right. Maybe they do too. Right. Um, but I, I think they're going to be used more and more, particularly, you know, if you have an ankle surgery and you're all swollen up and you cannot have surgery with it swollen, you can't walk on it. You got one of those big uh, casts on it, the back slab plaster cast. This is ideal for that. So you can get some muscles moving, get the circulation and get that edema down so you can have surgery. And they've done studies on it up to two days earlier which is, you know, significant. So basically, someone, you know, hurts their ankle, breaks their ankle or whatever, mm -hmm. they, they're waiting for the swelling to go down because right. they can't do the surgery, and this pushes it forward that much faster, greatly, right. greatly, right. A, a lot more. So you, you can obviously get back to your life a lot quicker if you can. And then you use it after the surgery as well because it improves the circulation. You know, you're not able to walk, you're not able to move much, but you need some movement going on to get the circulation. And you're gonna see just how, but that way the, the wound can heal faster. So it's pre-surgery as well as post-surgery. I think you could extend this way beyond just ankle surgeries, right? This would be anybody who's in bed right. after, after a surgery and they're worried about the, the blood clot, which right. is a huge issue. If you don't know, what can happen is you can develop a deep, a deep vein thrombosis. There's a blood clot in your calf. It can, it can dislodge and can actually go up into your lungs, mm -hmm. and it can actually kill you. Sure. I mean, we, um, it's life-threatening. And we brought up that before. There was that reporter in the Gulf War that uh, actually died, David something, and he was driving <laughs> <laughs> He was riding in tanks. And uh, he actually um, developed a blood clot. Right. And it, there, it actually, there's not a lot of room in those tanks, and he was in there not, yeah, not, not, moving. not able to move. And, uh, yeah, it was real unfortunate. So we should bring up the differences here, right, Brad? So sure. this one's, uh, you know, the, the Geeko is, uh, is FDA approved, and it's a little bit stronger. It has an up button and a down button as far as intensity. Right. And this one is the one that, you you know, hospitals would use. But they also have the one for athletic recovery right and this is basically the firefly and this is just a real simple one you just push the button on and it, it goes right, right? They're, they're very similar um but this is a little bit simpler to use it doesn't have quite as much power but still enough for that recovery of muscles so you don't get that the sore muscles after an aggressive workout right and also um like some of the athletes and i guess they're using it with a lot of olympic athletes and they're using it a lot with, with uh, professional athletes sure but even like when they're riding on a plane which is a big deal for uh, right uh, i mean because yeah, they're, they're always riding they're always, on a plane. they're always riding on a plane should we show how to put it on Brad? right let's yeah give a little demonstration here again my foot is not moving uh, it's not, I'm not voluntarily moving my foot. I don't know if you can see this down here, Liz. It's, it's going on its own. I'm, I've got the, the device hooked up to me, but Brad's going to show you where to hook it up. Sure. So no, this is where you need a little knowledge on the anatomy. You're going to go to the fibula, and you go to the head of the fibula, which is that bump right here. It's blue. So there's two bones in the lower extremity. You got the tibia and the fibula. The fibula is the little thin bone on the outside of your right. uh, leg. Yeah. We're going to show a little leg today, Bob. There we go. Yeah, we're going to really gross them out. Uh, so you find this, which is 
which is right here. It's a I big can, bump you yep, feel sticking out there. Right there. On the and, lower part. And you're going to put that, there's some lines here. You put that right underneath there, and you put it this way, not this way. This is all spelled out. And, and by the way, this is a device that the layperson is, is not going to buy and put it on without help. You're going to have to have someone who's trained. Maybe uh, athletic trainer, physical therapist, or somebody in the hospital. Um, right. Uh, but for the first time, I would say you probably want to have someone that right. is a little bit knowledgeable. Right. Well, once you get it set up and you understand it, what happens is... So that line goes right over the fibula? Right, just, just underneath there. And then the longer section, it, what it does is it lines up the two electrodes over the top of the perineal nerve. Yeah. And it stimulates that nerve, which in turn stimulates. I'm not going to go through all the muscles that it kicks in, but perineal nerve it basically turns your foot out, and that's what you see my foot doing. It's, right. It's like it's. And you know, I, I questioned Brad whether or not I could sleep with this, and I think I probably could. But um, you said it has to be on for how many hours a day? 16, you know, not more than 24. After 24, you take it off and you simply throw it away. So for the eight hours I'm sleeping, do I, do I have it off? I suppose it depends on, on the, you know, they, they might have it on during that right. time. Yep. Sure. Well, what you tolerate. Um, you can see right here, they, they make a nice strap. I have one on this side. This is the Firefly model. And if you're going to be active with it, you put this on so it makes sure it stays there. Stays in place. And, you know, if there's perspiration and whatnot, you want to make sure that it doesn't come off. Um, so this is a one-time use? Brad? Yeah. You okay. Th you throw it away. It's gotcha. disposable. Uh, you know, the kit comes with, a number of them. I think I had eight of them in there total. So yours is kicking out right now, right, too. I'm, I'm just going to turn mine up. Each time I, I press the button here, to see if I can get it up any stronger. Um, nope. Looks like I'm... So that's about where you're at. Yep. Now, this is the other model that is designed to get a little bit stronger. One thing we found out often that works better when you're pushing the button is to use your fingernail and push it down. Uh, on this true, one. Brad? On yeah. that one, yeah. On the, the Firefly... Is, is not right, the pretty same. Simple. But in this, I can clearly see I've got the firefly up as high as it'll go, and you can see my ankle is kicking away, and I've got this one up, and I think I can go a little higher, and ooh, there. It, it really, uh, yeah, it's kind of inter It's kind of fun. I actually enjoy getting so stimulated. So, I, I like, you like this. To getting zapped. I had a girl in my class too, my physical therapy class, that liked getting electrocuted. I mean, she just, well, this is a, <laughs> electrocuted. Well, I, I, that's I mean, a not strong not, term. Uh, sorry, okay, <laughs> she liked getting some electrical stimulation. Right. So, but so let's let's just summarize, Brad, real quickly. It's going to help prevent a blood clot. Right. It's going to help with athletic recovery. It's going to reduce the time needed to prepare for surgery because it gets the swelling down right. rapidly. And it can be used for uh, helping to, to heal wounds, right? right. I mean, because it's going to get more blood flow there. And, and it's also the same concept of getting muscles to contract so that you increase the venous flow. That's the flow coming back up to the system, not the ar arterial flow. And they found out it was 32%, I do remember that number, 32% yeah. more blood, fl uh, more um, venous flow, but on a microcytic, microcytic blood flow level was 400% improvement. <laughs> this is, I just pulled yeah. that out of my head. Th this has can. really been studied a lot, yeah, and, and they give all the information in the packet, you know, they've got, uh, what is a little thumbnail you put in your computer, and they'll, sh Flash drive. Flash I, I drive. wasn't going to get off Mr. there. Mr. Computer here. <laughs> Anyways, it shows you the studies, and uh, you, if you're uh, one of those type of people, you really want to get into how it was researched. Uh, it goes into detail. Yeah, you, good for uh, diabetic wounds too, sure. because it, it, you're going to get more blood flow again, right. and you know some of those wounds can be really stubborn in right. trying to heal them. So a lot of uses. Um, you know, if you're the lay person, you may want to bring it up to your physician or. Uh, you, you know, your health professional. Right. To say, if, if you just experience an ankle fracture and you're, go, you know, you're trying to figure out what you can do, uh, this would be a good video. And, and maybe the, the doctor is not familiar with it or, or is, or, you know, someone in, in that hospital is and they say, oh, wow, we can use this. Well, Brad and I, are, what we're accustomed to is seeing, you know, the compression socks and stuff like that, mm -hmm. which are a real pain in the butt. I mean, right. you, you try to put those things on and... Right, uh, and, and, you know, you, and sometimes if you've got an, an ankle fracture, it's real painful. Right, you're just you're not, not going to tolerate. You're not going to be able to do it. Right, so. or, or you have one of the, you know, one of those back slab plaster casts on. 
you know. Well, that's what I think is cool. The, the cast can be on, and this could be put, like you said, right over the top of the. Yeah. And it can be. It goes above it. Yeah. Getting, getting the movement there. So. Right. Really cool device. Uh, it, it really is fun to be living in this area, uh, this arena of technology. Isn't right. It? This yep. life of technology. Yeah. The medical field continues to advance. So. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching.